single player, long play, do it. All right, gameplay. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, what do I actually need to do here? Uh, there's pigs in there. I think pigs take carrots. I'm gonna need food at some point. I have wheat. We already got some wheat, so let's make some bread just to have something to chew on, because, you know, food good. How do you make bread? This way? Yeah. You should probably look in some of those other houses and see what's up. Uh, okay, so gold now is gonna be find the materials that we need to make stuff happen. Uh, there's another thing that we're gonna see some, which is gonna be this. I have notes. And so I'm gonna go into this. This is my little, and this is, we'll see some of this when we start programming, but this is also where I keep my notes. And if I go here and I go Minecraft, and we go installing my C-R-A-F-T, Minecraft, CC computer on Twitter recipes. Perfect. So this is just my notes and this will show me what we need. So we need some smooth stone. We need some redstone. We need some glass for a computer and for the turtle, which is basically the computer, but it can move. We need some iron. We need a computer, which we make in the previous step and we need a chest. Okay. So we need glass and redstone and iron really is the things that we're looking for. Got it. Sweet. Okay, so we know what we're looking for there. Let's go back to Minecraft. And let me switch keyboard layers because my keyboard is set up to have two different kind of modes to it. One where it controls the game a little bit and I've got some, some keys set up to make it easier to do stuff on the game. And then one where we type and do things. I need to switch back and forth. You will sometimes see me goof that. All right, we're gonna start digging. Oh, I don't have any torches. Let's plant these oak trees so we can get a little stuff happening here to get us some wood. And, I'm gonna, whoops, that's gonna hurt, yep. I didn't make an ax yet, but that's fine. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on trees right now. We'll take this one down, pass it around. Psst, six trees on the wall, or however many we have now. Yeah. This is this is this is interesting. This is very interesting. Like the the move of the stuff. Like and also the tone of my voice has changed now. I'm not doing <laughs> I'm not doing the podcast. I'm not doing the podcast presentation voice, which is up here a little bit. A little bit higher and talking like with a little more energy and a little bit more movement and speed, etc. Sometimes I talk relatively fast, so if there won't have to be editing where I make it go faster, I don't see any other trees. But yeah, um, but yeah, so like I guess there's like and and there's gonna be categories of these things and playlists of these things. So yeah, I like it. I like it. I like. Okay, I'm not gonna get into another thing because I want to just play the game for a little bit. So we're gonna play the game for a little bit. Boop. Cool. Let all that stuff fall. Let's go clean some flowers. Yeah, there'll be yeah, category category play. Which sounds like a thing. Where Yeah, different playlists. And like, oh, we could set up Okay, this is probably gonna be some podcast stuff because we're gonna talk about what the like this is kind of meta stuff. Where we're talking about the thing and how we want to do the thing. But we could set up playlists where there's different moods and methods of the of the type of content. And those types of content will will form themselves over time and like sometimes they'll cross over or whatever, but like there can also be a like one playlist is likely going to be here's everything. One playlist will just be the long play videos. Some of the videos that are going to happen and some of the ways that I'm going to play the game are trying to figure out, not trying to figure out, but actually figuring out what I want to do and how I want to do it to do the programming stuff. I, I really like this, this methodology that I heard from a, a teacher friend where she was saying, 
the the method that she likes to use for for teaching stuff is first I do it, then we do it, then you do it. And I I really like that. And I also I've done some scratch videos with the scratch programming language. It's also very cool. If you see like the videos, actually I'm proud of the videos, but like the language is very cool. But it's, I was, I was looking at doing that. I was looking at putting some of this energy into that or not some of this energy, all of this energy. Like I was looking at doing that, but it's not, I, I enjoy working with scratch. Like it's fun, but it's not, it's not like, I'm not, I'm not sure the best way to describe it. It is a fully pat Like it's, it's basically a full power programming language. Like you can do, you can do all the stuff in there or basically all the stuff in there that you can do with most other things of, of certain levels of programming languages. And like, that's really cool, but it's like, it's not typing code. It's using these blocks to move stuff around, which is really like, it's really cool that you can do that. And it makes it very approachable and it's very cool. And I was looking at doing that and looking at doing some, some time and investment on that. And I, I, I expect I still will, but it's not, it's not typing words into the computer that make the computer do things. And which is how I really, in my, in my brain and my, you know, experience in terms of the past 20 years of, of doing programming, that's what programming looks like. And that's what programming looks like in Minecraft with this, with this mod. So it's going to be like, I, I was, I, I was interested in doing the scratch stuff. I still am interested in doing a little bit of it. This has my interest much more because this is much more familiar to me in terms of the way that I am used to doing things. And so that's, that's where this really kind of kicked off in my brain about doing this. Also, I, I enjoy playing Minecraft and it's going to let me do education. So I'm going to get to program like for myself, I'm going to get to teach people how to program and I'm going to get to play Minecraft. Like my God, that's just like a cool setup. And I've got, so like I'm, I'm out of a gig right now. I, I left my, I left my job about a year ago and I've kind of been, uh, like casting. I, I wasn't specifically casting about for things to do. Like, I, I had some mental health stuff happen um, where I, I so I, I discovered late in life that I had bipolar disorder and went through some really rough stuff that we'll talk about in there or at some point with it in terms of like like really major depression, like really major depression. And and also recovery from bipolar episodes like bipolar episodes cause brain damage. Like it, like your, your brain does something weird and like, it's, it's really bad. Like one of the reasons that they, they really try and medicate you with when you have bipolar disorder is one, you get like super, like you basically get super high and then you get super low and the super high is a lot of fun. Like it's a lot of fun, but like. It's also like you start losing inhibitions and like some people like gamble all their money away because it's just like it's it's part of the ride. It's part of the high. I, I did not do that. Thankfully, it was not that was not where I went. I went kind of all over the place in different ways. We'll talk about all that stuff. But. The, there's also so like recovery from that takes a while, but then also the, the depression often follows a manic episode and I got my butt kicked for two years with the depression stuff. And we're talking, I had to go into the hospital because it went as dark as you can go with it, which we'll get into all that stuff. We'll throw trigger warnings out for that kind of stuff. But so, and then and then after that, I kind of recovered. I got, or not kind of recovered. I, I, I recovered in the way that I am recovered, which is to say I'm, I've been super affected by that. There's There's residuals on that that are going to be with me for the rest of my life. Because that's how things work in general, but especially big things, especially things like a bipolar episode where you get your ass kicked, which I think is probably most of them uh, for for bipolar one. I don't know, bipolar two, maybe who knows? I I don't have experience with that. But I've I've been kind of I've been kind of casting about for the past year but not specifically for looking for something to do. Cause I was, I've, I've kind of been trying to make a determination of 
do I like, can I retire? Do I have, have I saved up enough money that I can like really cut back on what I do? And even if not retire, but like go for a while without having to have a job. And I've done it for a year and I've been doing all kinds of stuff and it's been really, it's been really, it's actually been really fun, right? Because I haven't had a job for a year and I haven't been worried about having a job for a year. Like it, it wasn't, I left of my own accord and was in a position where it was, I was fine to leave. Like I, I, I was financially stable enough to do that. And I'm like, I am incredibly fortunate to be able to have been in that position. And so I'm right. I'm like, I'm riding on that. But now with this, with this thing. And so I, I was kind of looking around doing just all this different stuff. And it was really like one of the, one of the coolest parts about it was I haven't had an opportunity to just do like the creative stuff that I've wanted to do like personally for since, since college basically. And to be able to have that again, to be able to you know, effectively just do the works and the things that I want to do to be able to do the stuff that I want to do is just, is just incredible. Like it's amazing. And because like, I, I wasn't worried, I, I haven't been worried about stuff. I've just been in a creative mode, but not a manic creative mode. And I mean that literally because I'm on meds that are specifically prescribed to stop that and have been doing the job, but just doing work. And I've done all kinds of stuff and it's been, it's been great. But now I've, I've run into this new position where I'm thinking about this stuff and, and suddenly, and I do mean suddenly because the, the realization like it was, it was percolating a little bit, I'm sure for a while, but the realization itself came quickly. It wasn't like a lightning bolt. It was like, it was like a sunrise where you're you're kind of watching it like you're there and it's dark and then it's like and then you notice it's lighter but you you kind of didn't see it get lighter it just is lighter like sunsets are really interesting or sunrises and sunsets are really interesting to me in terms of you're kind of looking and all like all of a sudden it's different and like you you kind of you only notice the difference but you don't notice the change if that makes sense and this was like that and but it happened quick in terms of oh i now i now have this thing that i'm going to do and like it's it has given me purpose and that is also just awesome right having purpose finding purpose finding a thing that you want to do like it it's really it is it has completely changed my view not my view cuz my views my views have been the same but it's completely changed my uh, what's the good word to say it? Like it hasn't changed me. It's changed the way that I feel and it's changed my motivation and it's changed the way that I'm going to be doing things. And like that, in like a really cool way. Like I, I now I have purpose again. And like, I, I didn't realize that I was lacking purpose. I was, I was doing all kinds of stuff, but I was, I was just, I was calling my all over the place, but I was okay with that. But that, that wasn't the important part. The important part was not having the goal, the thing to do. I would have, I would have little ones, but not like a large one. So like what I, I, so, I mean, this is just wild to say, but I have found the purpose. I have found my purpose in life. That purpose may change over time. Who knows? For now, this is my purpose in life is to do these things is to make these things is to teach people how to program is to, is to show and provide an opportunity for some number of people to, to figure out how to do this stuff that I really enjoy. And it has been uh, just a super way. Like it's been, it's, it's been super supportive in terms of it is how I support myself and I can offer that. And so I, again, I also have, I feel like I have this, this moral obligation to offer that and I can. And so like, I'm fulfilling my purpose. I am fulfilling the thing that I do. I'm well, so I actually, I'm not fulfilling it yet. Right. This is just the start, 
but I am working towards fulfilling it. My, I, I now, I'm now in a place where I am going for the goal of doing the thing that is my purpose. And like, that's really, uh, it's kind of profound. Like I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, as I'm saying this, I'm even thinking about it a little bit more and it's kind of putting me on my back foot a little bit, but like in a, in a, in a good way or in a like, Oh wow. Way. Like I haven't, I hadn't totally thought all the way through that. And that's really, that's really wild and cool. And amusingly, it's not scary. Like lots of times when I hear some people talk about similar experience in life, they talk about a scary aspect of it and not like horror movie scary, but like, I don't know, something scary, but I, I guess I'm just not wired to, to think that who knows, but regardless, it's just like, it just, it feels natural. It feels like, and this is the thing I've talked with my therapist about some is I have this feeling of being on a canoe in a river where it's just moving at a good, comfortable pace. And I'm just, and this gets into the idea, right? Of going with the flow. Like I've always thought of flow in terms of like flow state where it's, it's the way of when you're doing an artistic endeavor, you can get into this kind of mental place where you're just like, you're just zooming along with the thing and you're going back and forth with whatever the ideas are in your head. And it's all just like, everything's clicking. This isn't that type of flow. This is, this is, this is more like a relaxed floating. It's so, it's, oh, okay. Maybe this, maybe this will work. Let's try this for uh, a way to say this. It's not going with the flow. It's floating with the flow. It might be a little, that's pretty close. Like that, that, that may not, like that may not be the greatest, you know, whatever turn of phrase, but that is the feeling that is, that is the, that is what I am getting right now. And like, that's re like, it's a really nice experience and there's nothing scary about it and a good and and by the way i probably one of the biggest tricks with that is i've got the finances right now to be able to do this like i can i can take a run at this um my idea here is for the next six months this is going to be the thing that i do and to see if i can if i can pull it off like or, or and just and when i say to see if i can pull it off like what i mean by that is if i put in the work at the end of that work, am I able to do this and continue to create the work, to continue to make the stuff, continue to make the art, continue to make the programming stuff? We'll see. Like that's that is the that is the that is the thing. We will find out. I it will it will be an interesting experiment. I enjoy experiments tremendously. This is going to be a really fun one and a really interesting one. And I have, I have no fear of it. Like I've, I've done performance stuff. I've done whatever, like it, it feels like all of the natural things that I have done in life have led up to this point, which is how life works. But also it's, I've been set up in a way that I can, I can offer to the world a thing that fits with what I want to do. I want to help people this is a way that I can do that. And I've been provided the opportunity through all the various random things that I've done to, to be able to do that in a, in a, in a, what we call in the tech world, a non-trivial way. Like I, I believe that I can make some really good stuff that will make an impact on the world. Like literally that it may only be a couple people, but like that's an impact on the world. And like, that's just, that's just amazing to me. Not from my perspective, but from the fact that, that any one person has the opportunity to, to do that stuff. And especially with the tools we have available now, especially with the internet, especially with all the free stuff that we have, that we can make, we can make and we can create and we can do stuff with.
just just amazing. Awesome. I love it. All right, we're going to run this one here. And uh, I did the big tree. Those are such a pain to cut down. But whatever, it's fine. Yeah, so I appreciate you all hanging out. Be kind. We'll see you next time. Until then, be kind. I need to reverse the way that I say that. Until next time, be kind, be cool, and have a good one. Cheers.